Welcome back to the vlog guys. Um, it's one of those days again where I'm just rushing around constantly. Not between very interesting places unlike last time, which was fairly interesting, London, Southam and whatever. Um, but yeah, I just feel like I'm rushing for very different reasons. And weather update, it's just rubbish. Look at it. Cold, windy, wet. <sighs> Now the main reason that I'm rushing around today is because I'm waiting for a delivery of a of a review <laughs> of a review unit. Very hard two words to put together, um, which is unusual because it's a car, and I kind of need to be there to accept it. I think, but I do then also need to come to the studio as I'm doing now to film some stuff. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And apart from about the weather, I'm not moaning because I love this job. Um, but there are days like this when it is, it's just annoying because no, no one has made this diary more annoying than me today because it's up to me what I do each day, each day and what I accept to do and what things I agree to and all that sort of stuff. And Alexa, turn on the studio. <sighs> Alexa, turn on the studio. Okay. I swear she gets slower as she gets older, like all of us. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, I, this diary is up to me. What I do is up to me. And sometimes I just try and do too much, I think. Um, anyway, the reason I've had to come to the studio is because I need to film the next episode of, no, no, no not episode, the next module, that's the word, the next module of the Creator Academy. I've got to put the heating on it. I can't believe it, I've got to put the heating on. Why have I got to put the heating on? It's the 15th of April. The 15th of April. <sighs> anyway, um, <laughs> I'm not normally this grumpy. It's, it's just Monday morning and whatever. Um, but yeah, I need to film the next module of the Creator Creator Academy. Say it properly, Mark. Cracky. Um, I can only do that in here. I can't do this from home, so I've had to come in and just assume that I'll get some some kind of phone call from the car company about this car, so so that I can run home if I need to. Hopefully, I, don't, I won't have to do that. Hopefully, Jen can accept it. Um, it's an exciting car, which I'll hopefully be able to show you. Well, I'll, I'll hopefully hopefully show you when it hopefully arrives. It's one of those mornings where I'm I'm thinking. Maybe this stuff isn't happening. Maybe, maybe this car isn't going to, going to arrive. Why haven't I, you know, why, why haven't they told me about it? I'm going to stop moaning. I'm going to stop moaning and crack on with this filming. If you're wondering what setup I use for this Creator Academy filming, it's exactly the same as the A-roll filming for any Marcos Reviews video. Not this tripod, that tripod. This camera though, this is the, um, what is it, the Sony FX3 with a Sigma 16 to 28 millimeter lens, nice and wide, works nicely, and the Rode VideoMic Pro mic, which I film 99, or sorry, I record 99.9% .9 of my content with, with this mic, and it works very well, and it's very easy to use. Um, so, yeah, let's get this academy, academy filming done, and hopefully I can get my mouth into gear. I do normally run on battery power with, with um, cameras, but for these academy shoots, it's getting quite warm in here now. <laughs> All my moaning about it, about it being too cold. Um, I do normally shoot with battery, but because the academy shoots can be a little bit longer, about an hour sometimes, I just don't want to run out of battery or, or think about running out of battery on the camera. Um, but anyway, I think I've talked about this before. So camera here, laptop here, and on the laptop, I have the deck, the, the, the kind of keynote uh, slides for this particular module on the, on the Academy. 
by the way, you can join the Academy still. It's still open for, re for registration. It will be for a long time, and people seem to be enjoying it and finding re finding it really useful. So, and I do enjoy filming these. Um, they're a bit freer and a bit freer, no, a bit bit more relaxed and, you know, matey conversation style really, um, compared to some of the videos that I make. So, uh, they're a bit a little bit easier to make. Uh, but anyway, I, I need to smash through this now, so I can get back home, and be there just in case this car arrives. Okay, done, filmed, and now uploading, uploading, offloading the footage from the memory card into my laptop so that I can go home, watch it through. I do think I should have got these edited by someone else, the more I think about it, although I've only got three left to do, so it's barely worth it now, but I do, yeah, I'm, 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 I am in the position still where I need, oh, terrible, terrible, you know, get the volumes out, where I need to edit these myself. There's very little edit, little editing involved, which is good. Uh, but yeah, go home. Um, the one thing that is always annoying me, always annoys me about, about days like this, is the gym, because I want to go to the gym really badly. Um, but I don't know when I can go, because I need to get home. Jen then needs to go out for a bit from 12, which means there's no one at home to accept this car. It's always funny, isn't it? Get, getting a review unit, which is a car, that always amuses me. Um, which means, I, unless it comes before then, I need to hang around. Which then means, do I go to the gym? Do I go to the gym later? It's all first world problems, but this is how much the gym is embedded within me. It's such an important part of my day, and it, it genuinely is. It's something which, if I don't go to the gym, I really feel it. So I, I need to go, but equally, I physically can't go because I need to be at home for some, anyway. Again, first world problems, but let's get this into here and then go home. While I'm warming my coffee cup, um, <laughs> if you watched the previous vlog when I was in London, uh, there was a section when I was in a milkshake shop, Joe and the Juice, basically. Not affiliated with them, obviously not. not. I don't have to say that each time. Anyway, I was in Joe and the Juice and there's a section where I'm sitting there with the milkshake talking to the camera and you can't hear anything I'm saying because all you can hear is the music we've had to put in place of the music that was copyrighted in the shot basically you'll, you, you'll get a bit of that going forward in these videos because we don't want to get a copyright strike obviously but there should have been captions uh, there wasn't <laughs> there, there was to be fair but f something went wrong technically and they didn't end up on YouTube so apologies um, but it, it just amused me when I looked at the comments and someone said not sure what happened during the milkshake section. Anyway, we've we've identified the issue and it won't happen again. But um, yeah, if you watched that and thought, what's going on here? That's why. I wish I could show you how cold it is today. It's genuinely freezing cold. Still no news on this car delivery, which is starting to worry. It's starting to worry me now, I'll be honest, because it's 11 o'clock and we need it. We need it because, well, we, we've arranged a camping trip for me later this week. And the whole point of this camping trip is the car. Not sure if you can see this, but 7.5 degrees. 7.5 degrees, mid-April. I don't think it's ever been this cold at this time of the year in the UK, ever, ever. Like, the records, just ever. I, I think I say this each year as well, but no, ne it's never been this cold. I've got cold hands and everything. Good news, I've just received the call about the Mini. I, I might as well say what it is now. It's a Mini Countryman, the brand new Mini Countryman. And yeah, it's on the way for midday, which actually works quite nicely because I'm editing this at the minute. So I'm, I'm, I'm basically ed editing the Academy video that I shot earlier. In theory, I'll have this done-ish by the time the car arrives, which then means I can go to the gym. It's arrived. So, as soon as I start recording without the mic, it starts raining. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I'll keep this very brief, this part. This is the John Cooper Works Mini Countryman, the brand new Mini Countryman. And I've already driven it. I have driven it in the Cotswolds when they did their launch event over there. And it was a, well, we didn't have it for very long to be fair. So it was a nice drive, but I need more time with it. And 
equally, I need to work out how to make a video about this for a tech channel, which we've, we've worked out already, actually. And if you keep watching this vlog, if you, if you subscribe, hit that bell, etc., you won't miss those episodes because they're coming later this week, basically. But um, yeah, I've got the car. Also, something else has happened now, which means I'm going to London again tomorrow morning in this car. I need to get there really early, stupidly early, which means a very, yeah, a very early, obviously, set off and uh, quite an interesting journey, actually, which, which will be in the, the next episode of the vlog. So again, another reason to subscribe. So this is it. This is the Mini Countryman, the new one. What do you think? It's the John Cooper Works version, which means it's the one with the four tailpipes and a sportier engine, etc. You probably can't see it there, but um, yeah, it's a lot bigger than the Mini we're driving at the minute. <laughs> My mum's Mini. If you've been following the vlog, you know that we've got a a hand-me-down Mini while we wait for our new car to be delivered, but um, yeah, this is it. The Mini Countryman. I'm sudden, I'm, I'm a car reviewer all of a sudden, which I know some people find strange. I do, trust me, but should make sure it's locked, shouldn't I? Bear in mind it's not mine. There we go. Um, it's very windy as well. Apologies for the wind noise. But it, yeah, so basically, I, I do get to review cars now, which is really exciting. It's, it's a strategic thing, obviously. It's not just come by chance. We've, we've really worked on this with these kind of partnerships. That's, that's the wrong word. Relationships with people like Mini and BMW in this case. We've really worked hard on it because we think there's definitely a crossover. Um, but it is all about making this about tech, which you can do quite easily with cars, actually. Easier than you think. And also, it's all about coming up with a really interesting engaging video idea rather than just a run-of-the-mill car review because I'm not a car reviewer. I love cars but I'm not a car reviewer so I need to make it about tech and I need to make it interesting and boy do I think we've come up with a good idea which is this whole camping thing which will happen later this week. However back to the studio because yes I have more filming to do. I've got to film a, a regular video, you know, a Mark Ellis Reviews video which involves a sponsor read which does mean, I always do this, don't I? Um, which means I need to get it done today because we need to send this sponsor read to the sponsor in good time because it's going live on Friday and well, tom tomorrow is now very busy and also Wednesday and Thursday is when I'm going to do this, this camping trip. So uh, sponsors do keep the lights on literally in the studio. They make sure you know we can be profitable but they add another complication. I'm, I'm just charging my my Meta Ray-Bans, charging my sunglasses. Um, sponsors do add another layer of complication to videos because you have to get them approved, generally speaking. Not always, but this one does need approving. Um, and also, in this particular... Let's catch my breath. This particular... I am fit, I promise. This particular... Um, sponsor shoot or read whatever you want to call it does involve several bits of filming a few different b-roll and stuff it's a bit more complicated than normal which is fine but it means I need to spend time on it now so I'm gonna do that before I go to the gym I've decided to go to the gym later which means I've had lunch and that's never a good thing anyway TMI Okay, my top-down rig is embarrassingly strapped together, but it's basically this C-stand here, which is a decent C-stand. It's then this piece here. It's then this kind of weird kind of amalgamation of things here attached to this, which the camera attaches to. And yes, you do have to put a lot of trust in what you're doing with this because if that camera fell off there, Lots of things get broken. Touch wood, shouldn't say this, that's never happened. Um, you are also supposed to balance the the arm with, with something, a sandbag or something. This is a sandbag, 
it's not really well, there's something in it but it's not very heavy it's not doing much of a job any other content creators who watch this and i know some of you do and i've seen your top down rigs they're much better than mine stop laughing uh, anyway that's that the product in question i can mention it it doesn't matter it's moffed they're not sponsoring this video but they are sponsoring the mark ellis reviews video for friday so um lovely people uh, lovely products products rather lovely products if i can get my words out um <clears throat> but yeah anyway let me just crack on with this and we'll catch up again in a bit not this isn't the end of the video don't click off i'll, I'll be back in a second Okay, that's the unboxing of the thing that we're being sponsored by filmed. Pretty straightforward. Um, now it's on to the A-roll stuff really. So onto my trusty setup, which I, I've been using this quite a bit recently. As if you've been watching the vlogs, you'll know that the, the Mantis pod, which is this little tripod here, has been, it's just been a godsend recently, just to get things done fairly quickly, rather than putting this camera on a big, tripod and moving that around this is just so easy look i can just walk around with it and you know in terms of the video itself it doesn't matter in fact if anything it might even increase engagement because it's just a bit more interesting than me being sat at the same place anyway can't waffle on too much because i do need to get this a roll filmed what i'm probably going to do because i i will run out of time is just film just film the intro the hook the intro and then the sponsor bit which kind of falls in with the first part, main part of the video. Get that filmed so it's done. There is some extra B-roll that I need to film for this, um, this sponsor, but that's fine. That's no problem at all. Uh, everything's possible. We can do all this. We, we can do this. We can do this. Okay, so shot the A-roll. That's done. Well, most of it's done. The, the, the stuff up to the sponsor read is done, so that's going into the computer now. I'll have to edit that tonight. I won't have time today because I do have a call in about five minutes with another creator about a about something else I'm doing this week as part of that camping trip. Not as part of the camping, but it will make sense, and if I can, I'll show you on the vlog. Uh, so I've got, I've got that coming up, and what I'm going to do, because I haven't got time to do the rest of the A-roll for this video here, I'm going to do the rest of it on the S24 Ultra tomorrow in London, which is just a very, I think, smart way of making content because I could stay late here or I could run in tomorrow and do it in the morning before I head down to London. That's going to be a nightmare. Why not just use the phone that I'm reviewing? And if you've seen my S24 Ultra stuff, I tend to do that. And that's part of the reason why but equally, it gives everyone who's watching that video an idea of what this is like for video. So that's the plan. But yeah, first, a call. A very important call with a very important person. Okay, so I've done as much as I can do at the studio today. I need to go to the gym. I really do. Do you have this with, with like working out and fitness? Do you find that you have to do it? You know, it's one of those things that you absolutely cannot leave out of your day. I do have rest days. Yesterday was a rest day very much needed, but um, today isn't a rest day, which means I need to get some exercise done. So that is where I'm going now. That does mean I don't really have time to get stuff ready for tomorrow because the reason I'm going down to London tomorrow, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier or not, apologies if I have, um, but the reason I'm, I'm going down to London is because it's a last minute invite to a product launch, which I can't talk about, sorry, it's embargoed. Um, it's not a massive, is it a massive one? Shouldn't say that, it's not huge, but it's it's important enough in terms of the brand for me to make the journey. Um, but be, again, because a little bit like the what you saw in the last few vlogs when I was in London, there will be some shooting, <laughs> that sounds terrible, there will be some filming involved, which uh, means I do I do need a camera. I just haven't got time to get it ready now. So, because this thing starts uh, at 8.30 tomorrow on Oxford Street. It's the earliest press event I've ever been to. So, um, and I live in, I live a good a good way from, from London, trust me. Um, but anyway, I, I need to get there early, but that does mean I've got to come in here ridiculously early tomorrow morning and get my stuff. Anyway, enough of that. Jim, update on the weather situation. It's now hailing. Seriously. 
And I didn't bring a coat, did I? No, of course I didn't bring a coat, because I'm an idiot. Wet hand. Again, I know that people who watch this vlog probably live in countries that have proper seriously bad weather. And for that, I apologize about my overreaction to this kind of thing. But oh, it was sunny. I mean, it was actually sunny a minute ago. The sun came out. In fact, it's, it's starting to come out again now. What is going on? I'm soaked. Oh, the seat's moving on its own, weird. Oh, I've got this car a little bit wet as well. The one thing this car does have is lots of little shelves that you can put things on. Like, you know, action cams and that sort of stuff. That's quite cool. Um, you can't see much of me, can you? No. Anyway, I'm so wet. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely soaked. Just to prove I am going camping later this week. That is the tent that I've never put up before. That's going to be a right laugh, isn't it? Anyway, I'm at the gym now. I'm running late for everything, but there you go. It's one of those things. Um, I will sign off the vlog here because you've probably had enough of me moaning about the weather and telling you that I'm going to the gym. And uh, tomorrow, it's gonna be an early start. A very, very, how do I lock this car? There we go. Very, very early start, which I'm looking forward to and not relishing in equal measure, but I will take you with me. So as always guys, thanks for watching this. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, tell your mates, and I'll catch you in the next episode.